A series filled with endless killing and pointless destruction. That's Quake for ya! Hello, people, and welcome to yet another edition of the Quake Playthrough. Today, we shall be checking out E1M5, known as Gloom Keep. Um, an interesting level in the cycle, mainly because of the fact of the matter that it's made with terracotta, which is a, basically a type of clay. And which you guys mostly probably won't care about, but it's the fact of matter that if you're really into like the details or whatnot, um, terracotta is a very very rare style in the world. It's like not used that that commonly, but it is a theme. It's just a very very rare theme at that. And so it's pretty interesting to see it here in the first episode before it basically disappears entirely until we get like much much later in the game. <laughs> Anyway, with that in mind, let's load up the game and see uh, what we have to deal with today. Okie dokie, we got up and running. Um, actually, no, I think I actually established that Terracotta was in, like, different levels or so in, like, different parts, or maybe... I forget exactly what I did for Terracotta, how exactly I said it. I'm going quick, quick guy, if you have any questions. I, I That's where I, like, detailed all the stuff. And, yeah, um, I put it all there so I didn't have to remember it all. <laughs> you know, that's where I put all my documentation and whatnot, or my practicality and whatnot. But, yeah, there's, like, a bunch of themes that go on in Quake. Um, they usually come in, like, different files, but not always. And, really, it comes down to... A uh, certain collection of textures that go together and are generally seen in like a certain style or so. It's like a certain grouping that is used together in certain level. It it was kind of like a very... Uh, it started out kind of arbitrary and then got more and more refined and whatnot. It was always something I knew existed because it's mentioned heavily when talking about like... Um, custom levels or whatnot, like somebody made something using the ID base theme, or someone used the wizard theme today, or something like that, but actually defining what it was was definitely a fun little work, and I ended up, like, going through and, like, looking at all the different textures, and actually came up with, like, a good basis for it all, but yeah, <laughs> don't ask me exactly which ones were which, um, but I think for a basic run of it, um, I would say the Terracotta is a pretty uncommon thing, and really would just be like E1M5 and maybe some later on. But yeah, really not too, too common. Actually, no, I, 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 you know, there might be a bit more than I originally thought when I re-looked at everything um, in, in episode 4. But I forget, honestly. Like I said, it's been a little bit of time, so... <laughs> Um, I think, like, anything brick texture is terracotta. Anyway, let's actually get into it. As usual, I'll load up Goom Keep. Mainly, I get my skill level. But as you see, they're already warning us about a bunch of errors. I mean, look at that. We just started up, but we're getting spams. Uh, let's see. Let's fix up the level, first of all. Now, let's make sure we're on skill three. That's good. Since the enemies... Five secrets, and we're stuck with absolutely no uh, good weaponry. Yeah, this is going to be fun. And by fun, I mean painful. And by painful, I mean challenging. And by challenging, I mean fun. See, this is what challenges, people. This is what I like. Honestly, you know, by doing shotgun start, this is a challenge, and I'm happy with that. Unlike Noble, where it turns out it's a terrible puzzle. Yeah, this level starts out pretty painful, if you haven't already noticed. God. Well, what, what a painful way to start. We kind of need to get some health. Luckily, they gave us all this health right here. Can we, like, move? Just kind of corner us. Dude, we need to establish, like, a good area to move around in to begin with. That will really help us. Okay, that gives us some shells so we don't die as much. 
Um, the interesting thing about this level is that if you know how to rocket jump, there's like a lot of shortcuts. I mean, in general, that, that usually is the case with Quake, but especially for this level, there's like all over the place there's shortcuts. Anyway, I think a good way to go probably is down here to get rid of this knife. Why? Because then we can drop in the water and check for resources down here. And we found some nails and a mega health. 100 health, should I say. Yeah, Quake went and calls them all by, like, the amount that they actually heal you. And I kind of get used to Quake's, Rick Eye's terminology of trying to call it mega health, but really it's 100 health. Let's see, oh, let's kill another knight. You see, so far it's just been a bunch of shooting at knights. Which isn't too hard. But generally, I'm trying to actually control my vicinity. Not go the wrong ways and whatnot to try and get some health and build myself up so that way I cannot die. Anyway, these are nail shooter traps. Be careful. Uh, around the next bend, we're gonna have some pain. Oh, well, first of all, we have this guy. Knights are easy enough, so yeah, we can wipe them out. Of course, I get cornered. Ah, well. We just need to get some armor and we'll be fine. Nice, a rocket launcher. I could use that. At least the first thing is out of the way. We got a rocket launcher. And you know what that means? We can take out the ogre without too many problems, hopefully. Except for the fact that it's in close proximity to the wall. I mean, splash effects will be dangerous. Ow! Okay, at least we got rid of him. Use some healing, and luckily there is one. Uh-oh. Fiend. I think that's all below me. If you look down there, you'll see a bunch of fiends running around. Unluckily for us, we do not exactly have ammo to deal with them. Like, is there like a good... More traps and more things to shoot at. This level's just painful <laughs> in terms of like your traps. In fact, it seems to be more trap oriented than really enemy oriented. Like the enemies here aren't too painful um, initially. And there are fiends, so it definitely is like painful stuff, but you can definitely get your bases here. Okay, there's an armor over there. That's going to be very, very useful. I want to get over there. But, uh, we first have to get rid of this guy. Okay, he's getting stuck in the wall, but now he's coming towards me. Haha, -ha, we killed him. Okay, there's probably going to be a second fiend around this time, so let's get rid of the rocket launcher. Okay, so, oh god. Oh god. He's gonna be a wise guy. You know, if you're gonna stand there and jump up and down, I can shoot you. Thank you! Uh, sure, we'll, we'll play this game. I'll shoot you through this little area here and you can't hit me. Hooray! This is how stupid the AI is sometimes, you know? Fine, let's see a little less cheap. Come on. Come on, do something smart. You know, actually be a threat to me. You're not being a threat right now, you know that? That that was pretty pathetic, actually. It's supposed to be worse than that. Unluckily for him, I knew that he existed, and therefore he was pretty much dead. But yeah, I'm kind of controlling the vicinity down here, because this is like where you'd fall down, so... I might clear out this area, and... Plus, this is where we'll need to go when we get the silver key. That's basically the focus of this level, is basically getting that so we, get, so we can get up there. Really, this is a level where the goal is to get keys to get to the end area just down here. So, instead, we're going to get over here because we need armor. Like, that's kind of priority right now. There we are, I took out the scrags that were trying to ambush me without even losing a bit of armor. 
Now, I am hearing an angry night somewhere in the world. But for the time being, I don't really care. We're doing pretty good. Lots of shells. Hmm, where should we be going? You're an easy one to kill, so let's wipe you out, too. Ooh, I see a super nail gun. I like that. I want that gun. So I'm gonna work my way over there. That's the thing, we gotta figure out where the guns are and use them appropriately. One down, move back. Okay, is there a stone ogre over there? Did he move? Ha-ha! Oh, he's gonna bounce the grenade down. There's still a knight around here, isn't he? Where's the knight? I think he's around here. Did he die due to the ogre? Maybe he ran upstairs and he's like stuck up there. That wouldn't surprise me. You've seen their pathfinding. And there uh, were some more guys. Oh well, let's get him out of the way. It's a pretty weak move, so let's just wipe him out. Like, seriously, it's better to wipe out somebody's weak boosts, that way you don't have to worry about them. Cause then I can just move around and gather resources as needed. Oh god, there's more of them! I thought there was only two. They ambushed me with two more! Alright, so there we are. We wiped out that horde. That wasn't really a good horde, but whatever. Super nail gun, we were rewarded. Also, if you jump and hit this... You open a secret area with more armor. So they're walking here and I just picked up the armor. I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie! Ah, oh, well. I really don't care. Like, it really doesn't matter because we're doing shotgun start every level anyway. So, like, we don't need to be conservative, really. That's kind of thing. You know, by doing it this way, you don't need the conservation that you probably know we need. Mainly because at the end of each level, it's resetting itself. That's one of the weaknesses of doing it from shotgun start. You can be more risky in a way. And so if you're going for a shotgun start and you realize that's what you're doing, you can make it a lot more, like, let's just kind of do it more risky or whatnot. That's how I did it, like, in Doom. I just, like, go in there and I basically use the more powerful ammo because I knew I'd be losing it next level. So it's hit you. Buddy. Oh, Joey, more things to hit me. Just gonna keep dodging all these guys and shoot at them. There's still a scrag around this corner. Couple. I'll just use my pea shoulder here. Because we need to be saving up my ammo for these fiends down here. You see, there's a couple of fiends sitting around. Well, there's one, but there's more than one. And we're going to take the coward's way out and shoot them from down here. Easy enough. And that's how you kill three fiends. Strategy, it's working well for me. Press this button, what was that? And that's good because this way is not too easy to get across. So let's do it the easy way. Bypassing the entire thing and get some more goodies. Seriously, they reward you for falling down, so why wouldn't you take this way? Well, I kind of get cornered there. Oh, well, Liz, I really don't care half the time, so... You can be pretty mindless and risky in these early levels, especially. Well, like I said, since I'm doing shotgun starting, really, as long as we're not dead, I can continue fighting and build myself back up from whatever it is. Sadly, I'm already switching weapons based on what I know is going to appear next, because, yeah, I put... I, I mean, I basically wrote walkthroughs for all these different levels. I know exactly kind of what's going to normally appear. There are surprises, as you see. It's been a while since I've played the game. But, 
I do know a general idea what's going up here. I can therefore be ready to kill them. It ain't like, yo, know, like a blind playthrough where I am totally surprised to jump out constantly. Although sort of things trying to murder me. You know, it's struck down and ambush. And get 100 health again. Now, we still have to kill a few guys. They're going to be a bit fun. I'd rather save my nails. Yeah, that's... Just thinking how I'm going to do this is this is going to be a pretty painful area. Oh, look at that! There's a fiend. He's walking away from us. I like that. Talk about luck. We had the fiend patrolling away from us, which means we were able to wipe him out with rockets. Doing terrible, my aim. Oh, God! I really wish I had a double barreled shotgun at times, so. though. <laughs> okay, get a quad damage and a super nail gun. This is a great combination. Let's use it. Die, Shambler! Obliteration of everything I see! I don't know where the ogre is. I don't really care at the moment. I'm moving around and shooting things. You see, I killed one of the ogres down here conveniently. Which makes it a lot easier to navigate. Okay, some cheap armor. Oh god, that hurt. As you see, that was the final enemy anyway. So yeah, we were a bit more reckless. Got injured a bunch. But now we can basically restock if needed. And we had a bunch of health lying around to the point whereby we could just like build ourselves back up. Like, look at that. Just like that, we have 100 shells, 118 nails. We'd be doing pretty good for the next level. And we'd have yellow armor right now, which isn't that... Well, green armor, that ain't that good. But we still haven't picked up the second armor. Wait, we have. Oh, that's right. I was thinking, let's go back and get the other armor. That's right, I picked it up a long time ago. Man, why was I thinking that I was going to pick up the armor? I'm glad I didn't really bother picking up before, because that would have been a waste of time. Yeah, so let's just go back up and get out of the level. The drop is, of course, going to injure us. But they're not going to be able to complete this with 100% health. But that really matters. Anyway, Banzai! 100% completion, as usual. Anyway, on to a level that's very recognizable as the third demo. This is the door to Chathon. And basically is the uh, second to last level in this cycle. And yeah, it's basically the final demo as well. So it's a pretty well-known level. Um... So, with all that in mind, we'll deal with it next time. It's very runic and whatnot, as you see. Very different from a lot of the levels we played. More like, um, E1M8 than anything else. Um, yeah, it, basically, episode one is a mix of variety to basically, um, promote the shareware. So you have stuff that's all over the place. Anyway, with all that in mind, let me get out of here for now. Because we really don't need to see more. Wait, why did I just load up Quake again? I apparently have an addiction with Quake, people. I'm sorry, but I accidentally loaded up Quake again. I wanted to quit, not play Quake. Exit. Anyway, well then, mine. Thank you very much all for watching, and I shall see you all next time.